So in our line of work here at Chicago Car Club, buying and selling classic cars, we see a ton of interesting stuff. We get a lot of phone calls, emails, text messages with photos of, oh, this was my grandfather's car. It's been sitting for decades. And we love that stuff, particularly when it's in climate controlled storage like these cars. So when a local gentleman called us about a year ago and said, I'm in my early 80s, I'm moving down to Florida, I need to sell all my cars. He had a lifetime collection of unbelievable stuff, buying cars new since the late 50s. See this 911? 9,000 actual miles. One owner, first year 3.2 Carrera cab. This Mini Cooper S, unrestored, 64, same year they won the Monte Carlo Rally 1, 2, 3, and 31,000 original miles. Supposedly the first one to come in North America, actually. This 84, 3.2 Carrera cab. First time seeing daylight since 1991. The owner kept it with the top down. I asked him why. He said, well, it must have been sunny the last time I drove it. But this Mini, in addition to all the little things that, you know, give it provenance, being an early one, being the first one in the States, it's so early of production oh, that it so predated cool. the 1275's hydroelastic suspension, so it has the dry traditional suspension, Unreal. which separates it from the Unreal. rest. Very desirable. Wow. Dual fuel tanks, sliding windows. Austin Gold. Doesn't get much cooler than that. We pop the hood and it's consistent with 31,000 miles. Still has the blue Cooper S sticker on the air cleaner. Unbelievable. We got the 911 home, uh, put quite a bit of work into it, put it on eBay and it sold in an hour to a gentleman in Germany. This 1275S, we just absolutely adore. Uh, we are holding on to this one for a little bit, it's sitting here in our showroom. It's, uh, man, we just can't get enough of it. These cars seem to be coming up in value very quickly, so we're, we're feeling good about hanging out of this one. Nothing more satisfying than blasting all the dust off.